Uh, so hi everyone, my name is Jeff Grant. I work at uh, the nonprofit organization Credential Engine, uh, who's dedicated to advancing credential transparency. Um, I'll just open with saying that the term credential seems like a single thing, but it's actually many different types of things. And uh, for us, a credential refers to all the many different ways that people signal their suitability. Uh, that includes traditional diplomas and degrees, but also certificates, licenses, certifications, badges, and more. Uh, and we've done our research in that area and identified over 738,000 credentials being offered in the US market alone. So it's an overwhelming number of options uh, for the American people to make sense of. And uh, what we do is we help uh, the public understand those credentials using linked open data uh, strategies and semantic web technologies. And uh, the way it works is that uh, our organization Credential Engine has led the development over the last three years of an openly licensed credential transparency description language schema uh, to fully describe credentials in a way that humans and machines can understand. Uh, so, and then on top of that, we've built uh, free technical services to help people use that language on the web. And uh, this issue has really come to the fore with uh, the COVID-19, where people are struggling to understand credentials uh, and use them for uh, responding to both uh, the COVID-19 pandemic specifically, but then the social uh, societal impacts that have followed from that as people uh, lose long paying, you know, um, occupations are, are no longer uh, viable. So uh, a lot of folks are looking to credentials to help them weather uh, the impacts of COVID-19. And our rapid award uh, is an approach of testing new partnerships that can rapidly increase uh, public data about healthcare credentials and uh, healthcare competency frameworks using uh, Credential Engines Registry. Uh, so we think this information, if we can uh, make it more publicly available, will help workers transition into the healthcare sector and then help healthcare workers upskill uh, to develop uh, and, and respond to the uh, fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so we built this landing page uh, to help uh, onboard our partners uh, to publish information to the web. And I'll, I'll paste a link to that in the chat here uh, at the close. Uh, the way it uh, we've been operating is that we have a history of partnering with state agencies. So uh, think of state workforce agencies or commissions for higher education. These are folks who have often some regulatory approval process for credentials offered in their state. And uh, we now have uh, formal partnerships with 19 uh, different states and regions in the country, all of whom have been engaged to help publish uh, healthcare credential information. Uh, for example, here in New York, uh, we partnered with a group called NIATEP uh, on healthcare credentials, and they've kicked off this work as uh, part of our rapid grant, uh, hosted Zoom webinars with credential providers in their state, and just recently hired a staff member to help facilitate a lot of the back-end data workflows necessary to make this happen at scale. And similar efforts are underway in Washington and Indiana in particular. Uh, but we've also been working with quality assurance organizations. Uh, this is a, a national accreditor, the Distance Education Accrediting Commission. They accredit 34 healthcare uh, related institutions and uh, that impacts uh, or they, they have a governance relationship with 690 healthcare related credentials uh, through their members. And uh, we've begun to map their information workflows uh, so that they can begin pilot testing, publishing to the registry this winter uh, with two of their organizations. Uh, we've also worked at the federal level. We've had a partnership with Career One Stop. Uh, the Department of Labor supports Career One Stop. It's a website that is charged with assembling data about state occupational licenses and competency models for the public. And um, we're helping them convert the information that they currently provide via web pages uh, into uh, linked open data strategies using the CTDL schema. And uh, the competency work has uh, kicked off and is already, I think, complete at this point. And then November, we'll be doing the license finder work, uh, which is all the healthcare, well, all licenses in the country, but healthcare licenses in particular. Uh, we've also built this 
uh, widget so that people can make credential information available on their own websites if they'd like to. This is just a basic design, but it can be fully customized using style sheets. And we now have 2,795 healthcare credentials in, in this widget. Uh, so people can find out more information about healthcare careers that way. Uh, and really my talk, I wanted to just say that you can help. Uh, so please help uh, join this movement. Uh, if you're affiliated with a credential issuing organization yourself, uh, you can help by uh, sharing my contact information and the URL with administrators at your campus. Uh, it might be a registrar or a provost. Uh, that that kind of level is usually where we intersect with. Or uh, you might be involved in different quality assurance or regulatory organizations, maybe professional associations, healthcare medical boards, all of uh, those groups have important information for the public about healthcare credentials, and we'd like to make it more uh, publicly available via our services. So um, I'll just paste the chat in the link, uh, the link uh, in the chat, and uh, here's my contact information, email as well. Uh, thank you very much.